Hello friends, welcome to the CADCAM CA lecture series. Today we are going to see the manual part programming using CAN cycles and do loop. Okay, so let's get started. So we'll first try to understand what do we mean by do loop. So if an operation is to be repeated over a number of equal steps, it may be programmed in what is referred to as do loop. We have already seen for repeat motion of the tool. Okay, that is if I have to drill number of holes, okay, many number of holes. Okay, it is always preferred to use the CAN cycle mode of the CNC machine uh, for that operation. And what happens in CAN cycle mode? Since it is a modal uh, command, okay, G81, that is. Uh, drilling CAN cycle on milling machine center. So the tool repeats its Z axis motion. The tool repeats its Z axis motion. The repeat motion we write in one block of instruction that is a CAN cycle instruction. And then whenever we supply the change of coordinate, okay, the tool is supposed to repeat the uh, Z axis motion. Okay, so that is what we have seen in CAN cycle. Okay, now the do loop is a further, uh, I would say, slightly modified version. Okay, we will require CAN cycle to uh, apply do loop. Okay, but do loop will be used when, <coughs> let's say, uh, a pattern hole drilling is is required. Okay, so and and there are many holes. Okay, there are many holes in in a typical pattern. Okay, so then we will make use of do loop. Okay, then we will make use of do loop. So in a do loop, the machine control unit is instructed to repeat an operation. In this scale, in this case, drill a hole five times or six times rather than uh, program for separate hole locations. A do loop simply instructs the machine control unit to repeat a series of uh, NC program statements. A specified number of times so whenever we want to repeat something number of times okay, we will make use of do loop so what do loop basically will do is okay, do loop will have a starting line do loop will have an ending line and then do loop will have how many number of times the uh, line between the starting and ending line needs to be repeated so the do loop has a similar meaning as as we have a uh, do do loop in any other programming language okay so why we we use loops in programming languages we use loops to reduce the number of lines okay by uh, writing a loop and it saves uh, writing number of lines in a program and if we are using loop, then we will require some increment variable, which will keep on incrementing. And then we will require certain uh, end condition, so that once the increment variable reaches the end condition, the loop will be terminated. Okay, so these are some uh, required uh, characteristics of any loop. And similar characteristics you will find in uh, CNC programming's do loop as well. Now again, let me uh, clear this point. Okay, do loop you will not find on all controllers. Okay, there are many controllers uh, who make uh, machine control unit and uh, the, the controlling aspects of the CNC machine. Say for example, Siemens, then Fanuc are are few common ones to list. Okay, there are many. There are many uh, controllers. So not all will have uh, do loop instruction so g25 uh, is an instruction for do loop okay will not be available on all controllers so that that is just to keep in mind okay usually the looping capability on a cnc controller is an optional item therefore not all controllers have it as i just said the looping feature is sometimes added to the controller by the controllers manufacturer so the, the looping feature may not be by default present on all controllers. In other cases, it is programmed into the controller by the machine tool manufacturer 
This means that NC codes used to initiate a do loop can vary widely from machine to machine even if they are all equipped with same basic controller model. So it is it is possible that the do loop feature will have a different code on different controller. Okay, this is in general G25 we are uh, going to use. Okay, but it 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 cannot be confirmedly say that G25 will be the code for do loop programming on all controllers. Okay, as we can confirmly say G00 is a rapid uh, mode. Okay, on all controllers. Okay, so there are certain fixed codes. Okay, which all controllers have accepted, and there are few, okay, very few codes which are which are not fixed among all the controllers. So G25 is one of them. So naturally, there is a G code to institute a do loop. As mentioned previously, there are no standard codes for do loops. The method described in this section is only one of the schemes in use. The format for do loop is it goes like this. So you have the sequence number. Then G25 is the start of do loop, followed by capital letter P, then line number, capital letter Q, then line number. So P is a starting uh, block number or line number, and Q followed by number is a ending line number, and L followed by number is how many times the these set of lines defined by P defined between P and Q will get executed. So let's say for example, if this is on this line. From previous line, my this NPPP is starting. Okay, it has some coordinates, and then NQQQ. So say after four lines, it is ending. So set of four lines will execute n number of times. Okay, which are defined by the letter L. So G25 signals the start of loop. P specifies the beginning block number of the loop. Q specifies the ending block number of loop, and L specifies the number of times. To perform the loop, so I think it is very clear. Okay, it, it is. Uh, it has the initialization. Okay, it has the increments. Uh, that is by default, it is going to increment, and it has a termination condition. Okay, so all these required things are present in do loop. The way we we can uh, uh, express in any programming language. Okay, so. That is the beauty of these loops that they reduce the uh, length of the programs, and that's what they do in uh, CNC programming as well. So just the execution flowchart. Okay, I have start of the do loop, set the loop counter to one. So as soon as I uh, start the do loop, okay, my increment counter is uh, set to one or loop counter is set to one. Okay, then uh, CNC program blocks. Okay, from where the loop has to be started. Okay, then every time the uh, execution happens, okay, the increment uh, counter is uh, incremented by one, or loop counter is incremented by one. Okay, then every time the end condition is checked. Okay, counter exceeded the maximum value. Okay, if it is no, then again it goes back to the uh, program blocks, executes them again, increments by one. Okay, again checks the maximum value. Okay, if it is still not exceeded, again it goes back. Okay, again executes the uh, set of block instructions and increments the counter. Then again it checks the maximum value of the counter. Now if it exceeds, okay, then it ends the loop. Okay, now if it exceeds, it ends the loop. So that is a very simple uh, execution flowchart of do loop. So we'll have this example. Okay, we need to uh, have these two operations on the part. So first, we'll have to carry the uh, drilling operation of phi 11 mm drill, and then we want to uh, have the uh, counter boring okay carried out on the uh, same drill and drill hole, and the counter bore uh, is of 20 mm. So the drill is to be made of 10 millimeter diameter that should be 23.3 uh, millimeter deep. Okay, it is not a through hole. The overall plate thickness is 30 mm. Okay, and the counter boring is required, or the thickness of the counter bore is uh, 7 millimeters. Okay, the overall dimensions of the plate are 180 millimeter by 120 millimeter, and 
these holes okay are all along the horizontal uh, line which is at y equal to 60 so the y coordinate for all these holes is same which is 60 millimeter okay, and these holes are at equidistance from each other so every adjacent hole is at 30 mm apart okay so and even it is 30 mm from the left edge and the last hole is also 30 mm from the right edge okay so this is the uh, requirement okay this is the requirement so it is expected that the tool will be at some uh, home position initially okay, then tool will come to the first hole location which is 60 comma 30 okay drill the hole the first operation that we are going to uh, use here is a drilling operation and then we will use a counter bore tool to uh, undergo the counter boring operation okay so see ideally if we speak okay if you have to follow then we will be doing it with three steps the first step is going to be the center drill okay to mark the centers and then we will carry out the drilling operation but since we are writing manual program so we don't want to increase the length of the program right now okay if it's an actual cnc machine there will be center drill first then the actual drilling then the counter boring okay that would be the flow of the uh, program so let us just check the uh, video animation of the operation yeah, so first the drilling will be carried out okay the 11 mm drill of 23.3 mm deep and then the counter boring will be done of 20 mm and 7 mm deep okay so that is how the uh, operation is set up that is how the operation is set up okay let us check it one more time first the drilling is carried out with 11 mm drill and then counter boring will be carried out okay so we'll write the program for yeah these operations so the program is right in front of us percent d 1005 okay so percent followed by a capital letter followed by the program number okay, this is how we specify the uh, start of the program in cnc then we have the comment section where drilling cutter diameter 11 mm hss drill i am calling it as tool number 01 that is t01 and diameter 20 mm counter bore is my tool number 02 that is t02 and it is a do loop program it is a do loop program so <coughs> some additional information i am mentioning in the comment section then i start the uh, program n005 g00 g49 g40 g80 okay as i said uh, the, the safeguarding i have to do first so whenever i start a fresh program i will ensure that all the modal commands okay regarding uh, compensations and can cycles okay i will ensure to cancel them first so g49 is cancel the tool length compensation g40 is to cancel the diameter compensation and g80 is to cancel all the can cycles okay then g71 g90 is the metric programming and absolute positioning system then uh, g00 x minus 40 y minus 40 z 20 so the home position or set point of the tool has been defined and then at that point i am going to carry out the tool change operation so m06 t01 so tool change to tool number t01 then in the next line i am going to uh, bring the tool above the location of the first hole so x30 y60 z10 so that z10 is going to be my reference position Okay, Z10 is going to be my reference position. So, it is going to be the, uh, you can say, clearance position. The clearance position. Uh, and I am going to start the spindle at 1200 RPM. And 
here in the clockwise direction so m03 okay. <coughs> then in the next line g43 z2 h1 m07 so cutter length compensation positive is turned on and z equal to 2 mm above the uh, workpiece uh, it is the initial position okay initial level is set uh, in the register h1 okay, and flood type coolant is switched on m07 then the next line i will write the can cycle so drilling can cycle on uh, on with feed rate 100 millimeters per minute so g81 g99 the location of the first hole rewritten that is x30 y60 then since it's not a through hole so i will write the exact depth of the hole so that is z minus 23.3 r2 and f100 so r2 is for the tool to come up till the uh, initial level okay and then uh, the drilling will happen at 100 millimeters per minute feed rate okay and g99 will ensure that the tool is going to come up to uh, initial level okay once it uh, completes the drilling okay so after this line now i have set the machine into the can cycle mode okay so uh, do loop cannot work if if you have if you are working in can cycle so if i write this line if i write this line before can cycle line before this block okay do loop is not going to work <coughs> okay do loop is not going to work because the looping to happen okay for looping to happen the loop statement has to be entered uh, after you enter the can cycle okay after you enter the can cycle block so always it is uh, for it is it is beneficiary that uh, you have a can cycle block written then you write the do loop and then you change the coordinates so that uh, the coordinate change will happen according to your specification and the machine is already in can cycle so the moment it receives the change in coordinate it will perform the drilling operation okay so that is the main aim of writing do loop statement after the can cycle statement so then i have g25 p040 q040 l4 what does it signifies signifies beginning of the do loop so do loop will run uh, four times okay do loop will run four times uh, to drill four holes okay it will not run five times five times since the first hole is drilled by the can cycle <coughs> so the line number i have given is this the next line number so 040 and q040 so the starting line number and ending line numbers are same so that means only one line has to be executed how many times four times okay so once it reaches the next line what i have written g91 so momentarily i am changing the uh, positioning system to incremental positioning system and every time <coughs> I am giving x30 so what happens okay after completion of the first hole okay the tool is at z2 okay it receives g91 and x30 so the current position becomes the uh, origin and it goes to x30 so it goes 30 millimeter in x direction okay repeats the same operation okay goes to z minus 23.3 and comes up to r2 okay then again goes to next hole that is at x30 okay repeats the same operation likewise it drills all the uh, remaining four holes okay then i cancel the can cycle okay i i write the g98 so return to reference level so that means it will go back to z10 okay then m05 m09 I am cancelling the, uh, I am stopping the spindle and cancelling the flood, uh, flood type coolant. And this coolant is also switched off. And then in a rapid mode, in a absolute positioning, I am taking tool back to the home position or set point. And then carrying out the change of tool instruction. So then tool is changed to tool number 2, which is a counter bore tool of 20 mm DAP, which is already mentioned over here okay then again i repeat i am going to repeat the same set of instructions okay in a rapid mode i will bring the tool up onto the uh, hole number one location okay at uh, the reference level z10 i will switch on the spindle so i have 
slightly different speed for counter boring so 1100 rpm and in the clockwise direction i will switch on the spindle then the next line g43 z2 h1 again i have defined the reference level okay which is 2 mm above the uh, top surface of the workpiece and that reference uh, initial level is stored in the register h1 and i have switched on the uh, flat type bullet then i will write the counter boring can cycle okay counter boring can cycle so this is very important this is not a drilling tool this is a counter bore tool okay so counter bore tool will be the counter bore can cycle will be g82 and not g81 okay so g82 g99 x30 y30 z minus 7 now the depth of counter bore is also minus 7 so i will write accordingly z minus 7 r2 and f 100 millimeters per minute so this is a counter bore can cycle with feed rate of 100 millimeters per minute and return to initial level of z2 okay. then i will have the uh, do loop statement so g25 the line that i have to repeat is p054 q054 and l4 so this line i am going to repeat four times because first counter boring is already done so what will happen g91 so uh, immediately the positioning system is changed to the incremental positioning system okay and the instruction given is x30 so it will advance in x direction by 30 mm it will advance in x direction by 30 mm perform the drilling operation okay again advance in x direction by 30 mm perform the drilling operation likewise it will do this four times and all the five total holes will be drilled okay then it then i am cancelling the uh, can cycle that is g80 okay asking tool to go back to the reference level that is z10 okay switching off the spindle and switching off the coolant supply so m05 m09 okay then again asking tool to go back to the uh, set point by changing uh, the the mode to rapid mode that is g00 and uh, i am changing the positioning system to absolute positioning system that is very important so before this in previous line also i had changed the positioning system to absolute before uh, taking tool to its set point position or home position so then tool goes to x minus 40 y minus 40 z 20 and then i stop the program that is m30 and the program ends okay, the program ends so this is a very simple uh, set of program uh, to carry out the five drill holes uh, with the counter boring as the finishing operation so even though it requires or it had five holes to be drilled then five counter boring to finish the drills okay the length of the program is not much okay length of the program is not much that is only possible because i am writing it inside a do loop now with do loop as you can see series of holes to be drilled okay the series where it is not changing okay even if it is it is following certain pattern still it is possible to specify with the help of do loop i might have to write another line okay and then uh, here i will give two set of lines to be repeated okay so it is possible to trace any any pattern holes okay which needs to be drilled with the help of do loop and it is very convenient okay you can repeat them as many number of times okay you can repeat them as many number of times so it's a very good uh, you can say an alternative to reduce the number of lines of the cnc program while you are writing it manually and uh, it is very convenient as well okay it is very convenient as well so i hope uh, you have understood the uh, loop programming, do loop programming. Okay, and uh, next time we will come up with the uh, subroutine programs. Okay, so we will have a main program, then we will have a subroutine program, and uh, we will see how to execute these subroutine programs, and uh, we will solve few examples based on the same so i hope you have understood this concept uh, hope to see you next time with more such interesting content on the uh, computer aided manufacturing till then goodbye and thank you